Right, it is about five o'clock on a bank holiday Monday, so a nice day off work. Um, another job ticked off the list. It's been really, really quite a nice weekend weather-wise. We've had uh, pretty much full sun all weekend and even on a bank holiday Monday, which is a rarity. But yeah, so another job ticked off the list. I had or still have got these two tree ferns here um, in big raised planters. I'd done this about four years ago when I got these tree ferns, so they're four footers. And I won't say my na naivety, but I, I didn't think they needed too big of pots because, you know, we all think, yeah, roots the whole trunk of root system they don't put out many roots well yeah they do they put out a huge root system to anchor themselves um so i had quite small raised pots and they were starting to rot out because they were just wooden raised planters which i made from pallet wood from work so just recycled wood um so i've done the same again i've just made out of pallets um basic sort of box um, obviously creosoted them so they're going to last a few years so again I expect these to last about four years before I have to change them out again but um, yeah so I made them slightly bigger this time and put loads of fresh uh, compost in um, so these ones uh, these tree ferns like I said I've had for about four years and yeah they're not doing as well as um, maybe the ones in the ground but I wanted the height, I wanted to be able to walk underneath them. And uh, yeah, so what the two sort of outside of the conservatory door, so as I walk through it, sort of gives you that instant impact of uh, a canopy and, you know, tropical feel. Um, I have just literally rigged up a um, drip system form as well. So we've got a drip line feeding both of them in the head. Um, let's see if we can see these ones are a little bit behind the ones in the garden again but there's some really nice big yeah I just knocked the uh, gimbal um, yeah so there's some really big crozies starting to uncurl in there can't really get in there to see them but I can see them by eye so yeah, so we've got the drip system in there now because what I was doing is I was watering these every day with a water can that got a bit arduous. So so with the drip system, just uh, turn the tap on five minutes, more than even, job done. Um, so yeah, normally this area is in sort of shade all day, but again, getting late in the day, the sun is sort of at the point where it's hitting this area now so it probably gets about two hours of sun sort of late afternoon evening time before the sun sort of disappears behind the trees at the back of the garden um so yeah so i've also got this area as a sort of hard enough area for some of the palms which have been in the greenhouse or hothouse over winter and so again, this doesn't get much sun here. It's only a couple of hours sort of evening sun, so it's not as strong. It seems to quite work quite well for what I want. Um, yeah, so we've got um, uh, Kentia palm. We've got my avocado tree. We've got the Nico palm there, doing well in the pots. Um, some of the Phoenix palms have come out to the garden now. Here's my other avocado. Another Kentia palm which has been indoors all winter. And we've got a service berry tree there which is it's really early flowering and it gives out little berries. Um, early summer you can eat them there. Quite nice. Um, yeah, so just a little hard enough area if you like. Um, yeah, so that is the tree ferns and the little project. And I've, I've been doing this over a, a couple of weeks because I had to 
break down some pallets at work, cut, them, cut the pieces to size. Um, obviously just done, made up the, the panels individually. Uh, so four panels for each one and just screwed them, screwed them all together. And yeah, backfilled with like loads of new fresh compost. There are already um, other plantings around here. So we've got a sort of a golden fern there. And we have got hostas in the other three corners. And it's the same this side as well. We've got a, a holly fern, I suppose. And we have got hostas here, which are only just starting to well, come up and get eaten by slugs straight away. But yeah, so another four years and then I'll probably have to replace them again, but it's no big deal. Like I say, it don't cost me nothing this time. So um, yeah, that is that. So that's another, another project ticked off the list. Um, just got to go down the dump now, or the recycling centre, should I say and get rid of the old ones so this is these are the old ones which had uh, rotted out so they ain't gonna last forever especially when you're sort of constantly watering all right so we've got some more palms along the side here of the hot house which are again sort of hard enough so we, we start them off um over here which is just getting a couple of hours of sun a day in the evening and then we move them plants over to this side where we uh, tend to get the morning sun till nearly midday and then the, the sun passes the hothouse that's in shade so and then, and then you know a week or so after that they're ready to depending on the weather if, if it's not been sunny then that's you know that's all about sun exposure building up a tolerance so a week or two of good sun and then they can go in final positions Right, so we'll leave it there. So that's that area sorted out. Just got a few more jobs to to do and then we can enjoy the summer. Right, we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.